Okay, guys, so I want you to take a look at this question. This is a question I already covered. Someone asked a wonderful question, and I want to address it, but I want you to also see the question. So the situation was about a patient who just had surgery, heart rates 146 while you're ambulating them. What do you do? And I gave the answer of the order. So anyway, um, you're going to stop what you're doing with that patient, right? They're ambulating, and the heart rate's 146. A normal heart rate's supposed to be... 60 to 100 so it's way too high so you're going to stop what you're doing with that patient we're trying to bring that heart rate down so that's the first thing you're going to do and then the next thing you're going to do is um, give them oxygen you're going to check their blood pressure and then call the healthcare provider let the healthcare provider know what happened what you did and then you want out orders so this was a great question elsa said oxygen before you assess vitals question mark let me answer this question and if she had this question i'm sure lots of other students have the same question why would you give oxygen before you check vitals whenever you're trying to figure out what you're going to do next and you're between two choices you have to say to yourself what is going to help my patient what's going to keep them alive longer if you went with taking the blood pressure first before you gave the patient oxygen let me ask you something what is that blood pressure going to tell you that you don't already know. We know that we were ambulating the patient and the patient's heart rate was up at 146. We know we need to stop what we're doing, which is ambulating the patient. We want them to rest right away. And we know we want that patient to have perfusion. We want to give them oxygen. When you see that heart rate going up so high, what do you think is happening? The body is screaming for oxygen. It's demanding oxygen. So what the heart rate is doing is it's increasing, trying to push out oxygen-rich blood to the tissues. That's why you see the heart rate increasing. So that's why you stop what the patient's doing because the minute you stop what they're doing, you're decreasing the oxygen demand. And then the sec second thing you do is actually give them the oxygen. You taking the blood pressure isn't going to tell you anything differently that you would have done for your patient. You still need to give them oxygen. Oxygen. So what you're going to do is give them oxygen. Now, after you give them oxygen, you can take the rest of the vital signs such as blood pressure and everything else. But you always need to correct the issue. Does this make sense?